Well, good afternoon. Hello, everybody. Araya coming to you live here in For the Love of Dragons. Uh, sorry, I'm coming on a little bit late. We had a little snafu there a few minutes ago trying to get it to not be sideways. And um, also just had clients run late this morning and, you know, time is what it is and the dragons don't like to be pushed in on a schedule. And if you're like me, that I've always loved schedules and punctuality and consistency and structure, all of us are being asked to surrender that, to just let go of what you expect things to be. Hello, Annabelle. Hopefully Anna and Lanelle are getting back on. Um, so for those of you that don't know me, uh, Araya Anra, I am your guide here with the dragons. My dragon name is Tana. You might have seen or heard that in places, and I am known as the Dragon Lady. Because here in For the Love of Dragons, um, I try to bring you the tools you need, hello Candace, to be working with the dragons, uh, constantly, efficiently, uh, very deeply connected. Um, so there's a book, there's guided meditations, there's uh, groups, book clubs, programs, all kinds of ways that you can get in and even just interacting in the group here, sharing your experiences. This place is for you to have a, a, a place to land and to share your experiences because the dragons are not hiding anymore. They're out en masse, they are in the skies, they are in the ground, they are showing themselves to you now, they are starting to show up in your energetic work uh, because they're here to bring healing tools. They are here to help you in your ascension journey to clear stuff out in a very effective, efficient, rapid manner. And that's what they're here for. So maybe they've started showing up for you and you're not sure what to do. Maybe you've been working with them for a long time and there's things that you can share in the group that will help others want to know they're not crazy that wow I experienced a dragon in my backyard is that normal <laughs> am I the only person having that it's very normal and especially when they're your guides and because of the because of the time we're in right now we are getting closer and closer to actual physical connection with them in what's not a full 3d but we're moving up to meet them as we shift into this fifth dimensional experience and um, so that's part of what I want to talk about today. We have uh, been doing a lot of stuff. So you guys have been noticing all the processes of change that you've been going through physically and otherwise, the globally, like all the process of change that we're in. And <clears throat> I want to bring some things to your attention so that you know energetically what's going on with some of the bigger players, some of the pieces that are manifesting for us that are bringing about certain steps and phases for you guys that it's always helpful to understand. So knowing and understanding that the dragons have been the ones holding these um, matrices, holding everything in place, the grids, for all the eons that Earth has been present since its inception, <clears throat> since it came about. And that now as we move forward, their job is done. They are going to be passing the batons on to the um, golden winged lions, to the Lyran kingdom. And this is interesting, I keep having connection issues. so very very interesting <laughs> things are havoc today right because there's a lot of high frequencies and so there's static that keeps coming in but um, as we go through that pass off this is the time of what you guys all know we're in the shift we're in the midst of it I talked last week about how we're in the tunnel I talked the week before about this crisis of faith that's coming in so I apologize that it keeps coming out I'm not sure why but I will pause uh, until it reconnects so that we have this all on tape and don't have anything missed so hang in there if I'm uh, blanking out that I am actually still here until I'm done speaking <laughs> so with these different phases that we're in we are continually moving forward but it is going to be a gentle gradual process and I know many of us just want to be done we want to go through the doorway we want to just you know throw our hands up and say enough of this stuff but all of the world game has to finish playing out. All of that is giving us time for our bodies to continually adjust. And that's what I want to address today. We've got some very um, sh continuous gradual shifts that I've been shown are happening. And understanding them helps us move through it with more ease and grace. Um, there's also a piece I want you to understand with the Rainbow Bridge. So let me start with your physical bodies because... The rainbow bridge that the dragon hearts are building and that is connected to the crossing over, the passing over the batons, all of it's connected to the phases we're in right now with our physical bodies. 
We talked um, a little bit in the past couple of weeks about our grounding mechanism shifting, about our, our grounding cord being pulled up and when we are in the new earth and putting our, our feet down, we're grounding in a different way where it goes out more like crystalline icicles because the whole, the new earth is actually diamond all the way up, <laughs> or crystalline, highest frequency of crystalline is the diamond, all the way up to the surface. And that even though the surface is this golden network um, of divine energy uh, represents as golden, once we touch in, our grounding goes into a crystalline structure. And I explained that previously, so I won't go into it again. But um, yeah, <laughs> hi Willow, it's on Tuesdays now. Tuesdays for the summer, so Tuesdays and trying to be at 11 o'clock Tuesdays um, Pacific Standard Time so that the European sector can um, join in a little easier because otherwise it's normally so late for them that we don't get a lot of them on and they're sad about that. So um, as part of these processes, some of what's happening, many of you have been noticing some physical symptoms that you're not sure, like am I getting sick or you know, why am I consistently having headaches? Why am I having um, sort of dizziness or um, really disturbed sleep? And so there's a process right now happening where because we're pulling our grounding cords up, we are um, literally being asked to ground ourselves with our physical body. That this becomes the, in, in this realm, before we can shift over across the bridge, that we're being held here. And so some of us are experiencing feeling more dense than normal actually putting on physical weight or having a ravenous appetite, um, being in a place where like, I don't know what's going on. I don't change my eating habits. I do the same amount of exercise and there's weight creeping on. Uh, my clothes don't fit the same way. And know that these are temporary things that are part of this process. So we don't take that as an excuse not to be healthy and active and eating the right things. Um, but if there's some of that happening for you, it is totally normal and part of this process because we're, we're pulling our grounding cup cord up out of Earth. We're letting Gaia not be responsible for grounding us anymore. We're giving her that gift of release so that she can also go through her shift. And so as we prepare to move into the new Earth and ground ourselves there, our physical body, remember we have lots of bodies. We have our physical body, our mental body, our emotional body, our energy body. We've got our light body over here. We actually have some other dimensional uh, background bodies that not, not many people talk about. But our physical body is now becoming the ground. It's becoming more dense or allowing us to hold a more grounded field even though it too will be shifting up. But the rest of our bodies, and this is what is interesting and I've just learned are starting to shift up gradually and separating a bit away from the physical, not too far, but if we look at them as, as like steps on a ladder and these three steps, these three are going to go up. This is really interesting that I have so much interference today trying to talk about this. So just understanding that when the rest of our bodies are shifting forward, the important thing to note is that's going to create, um, a disharmonic or a greater level of harmonic dissonance between where they've normally sat in relation to our physical body. So everything is on a, a wavelength or a frequency, right? So you've now separated them by a half note or a half wave. And so it puts a little dissonance in. So that creates tension, that creates a friction barrier in the headspace. That's creating both this headache sensation, which causes erratic sleep or um, different feelings of like lightheadedness, dizziness, because the waves are coming through differently. So know that that will adjust itself, just keep going with it. But all of this time frame we need in order to, and I don't think a lot of us have realized that it's not going to be like walk through a doorway, I'm in 3D and I'm in 5D and all, all is good. There is a huge jump. If you go, <laughs> this analogy came in the other day. If you go from a flat piece of paper, which is a two-dimensional flat representation, to 3D and all of a sudden it pops up and everything's got all this uh, structure and form to it, right? That is a huge shift, 2D to 3D. And here we're asking ourselves to go from 3D to 5D, which is not only expanded externally this way, it's expanded internally. It goes into an inner spaces in between. And we can't necessarily, we're starting to grasp what that might look or feel like, but 
even though we can experience it in meditations, to take our physical body to that, that is an equal, if not greater, shift than going from 2D to 3D. So we've got to figure out and realize, well, that's going to take me from <coughs> where I'm at now all the way over here. And I was expecting myself, like, in a moment of clarity or light or everything just going, bah, 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 and we're through the doorway. It's not going to happen like that. So little reality check here. We have to gradually phase it in and it's going to take, and I've been shown, and I think a lot of people are being shown this, that the timeline is the next five, six months, that it's really going to take through December 21st with the um, solstice in December for us to not only complete the timelines of the world game and where things are at right now, but that that's giving us time for all of our bodies to actually make the gradual shifts in tonal frequency up to where we need to be in a way that won't damage or split or tear any of those fields because it is a really radical shift. So your body will be going through all kinds of strange sensations and um, realignments during that time. So be aware of that. And the bigger exciting thing I want to talk about um, is the Rainbow Bridge because on Saturday we set in the first foundations. Um, some of you guys know, I've talked a little bit about it. My current group of Dragon Hearts um, is, it came together and within the first two weeks, the realization, because each of my years of programs have had a very different focus on who the beings were that came in as Dragon, who and what their mission was, like what part they play in this big shift. Um, and this group is the bridge. They are the ones that are going to be setting up the structure for this transition zone. And even though there's many beings around the planet that are helping uh, come in and be the scaffolding of the bridge with their light bodies, that this group has set apart and started um, creating the space for the bridge to be built. That on the timeline we, we um, set it up, I was shown to do an activation on June 6th, so some of you guys knew I was doing that. Saturday morning this last weekend to write on the tales of the lunar eclipse energy it was very um, profound But different than my other activations. It wasn't like a boom big uh, Powerful thing. It was a really gentle graceful setting into motion and So if you felt things on Saturday morning Pacific Standard Time 11 o'clock um, we finished right around 12 12 whatever time frame that was for you wherever you are in the world you might have been feeling some stuff. And um, we're going to be doing the second piece, July 7th, and then on August 8th, I will be doing the completion of it with uh, a large group of dragons that are my already graduated dragon hearts, my current ones. Um, and then those actually that were in the book club last round was a very special group of women that came together that were called into that that um, I've been shown need to be a part of it. So we're going to be shifting from the 12 to the 8. It's a different set of geometrics, and all these pieces are coming about to bring it in. So the ceremony on Saturday was the first foundational layers of that, that as we shift from that 12 to 8, the geometric has to change. And so working now in a totally different geometric pattern um, with these dragon hearts to lay that was the beginning, and it's just very exciting for me because I've seen it coming as many of us have for some of us have been working for 20 years or so in the field some much longer than that some since 1987 with the harmonic convergence of seeing this coming of knowing like all right it's out ahead of us we don't know the exact dates but we're finally in the shift and as I talked about last week we're in the tunnel we're in the zone we're in the tube and so we've just got to stay this narrow course and this is a time to be taking care of yourself. So as the scaffolding gets built for the bridge, that means we're ready for our body processes to really start in earnest in those gentle half steps forward that over the next six months, you're going to feel the shifting, but you're going to feel the most shift during July and August, or excuse me, June and July, that by about August 8th, there's going to be a completion level, and I would say even by the third week of July, we'll have turned a very large corner. And just allowing yourself to be gentle with yourself right now, to take time to be still. Many people are talking about this right now. It's time to just be still and stay in your heart and shine your light. 
you don't buy into the fear, you don't you know, buy into the world game and allow yourself to hold a frequency that's going to maintain truth and all of that being allowed. Uh, no, Sean, I'm sorry, it's the one that just finished last week. It's the current, so they're very aware of that. Um, but I will on August 8th send out the details of the time uh, that we're gathering so that those like yourself can gather in and hold focus with us and uh, join in um, energetically when we're doing that alignment. But um, this period, because there's so much adjustment, you really need to honor your body, stay still as much as you can, open your heart space and just shine the biggest light that you can, allowing the intention for the greatest level of truth to be flowing in you and through you to light up the truth around you because there's so much um, there's a lot that's been brushed under the carpet of the collective of humanity and it's all going to be turning up there's going to be a lot of dust turning as we sweep all that from out under the carpet and allow all the anger to be released there's so much anger that's been buried just like in our own personal relationships and history over time We've had to release it all in, in order to move forward in our own frequency, right? So the collective of humanity is being asked to do the same now. And so as that comes up, holding space for that, knowing there's going to be a lot of anger release, there's going to be a lot of shadow body stuff come up, a lot of dust going to be turning. And what does that dust do? It creates clouds of uncertainty. It creates clouds of um, um, dissolution isn't the right word. It's when you're in the clouds, you can't see straight. You can't know what direction is, right? It, it creates confusion because you don't know what's real or what's true. And that's, as all this stuff gets turned up, there's gonna be a lot of questioning in your heart of, whoa, I stood on that pillar, I knew what, I believed that to be true and it's not, and I'm being shown wow. And over here, I thought that was false and it's like, I'm feeling like it's lighting up as true. And there's, there's a lot of deception in the world. There has been for millennia. And all of that is now gonna be brought up. All of the systems that are underlying that deception and underlying um, what has been holding humanity back, it's all gonna come up to the surface and it's gonna be like a cloud of dust. So sit still, and I think it's very interesting that we're being we're asked to wear a mask because what do you need to keep yourself from breathing in the dust? You need a mask. So envision your sort of energetic mask of, I'm not gonna breathe in all this confusion. I'm gonna hold in my light and I'm gonna just shine it and know that the truth is coming. And when I move into higher frequencies that I just spoke about with my energy bodies, my mental and emotional, I'm actually going to be able to see much clearer with those bodies. So if I let go of these eyes of what I'm seeing in the 3D realm and I allow my higher bodies or what are becoming my higher bodies, they are, ex they are sequentially stepping up in the, into higher frequencies, very gently moving forward towards that fifth dimensional um, gateway, that I will actually be able to perceive and know the truth by looking through the eyes of my heart, because my heart will always align and show me. But my greatest gift right now to humanity, why I'm here as a light worker and guide, whether I'm a dragon or a star seed or an angel, whatever realm you hail from, and most of you are dragons because you're here and for the love of dragons watching, but others will get the replay. I share it out in a couple different places. But um, that heart space always has the eyes to see and know the truth. And when we just hold that and hold the space so that the rest of humanity can also feel and know the truth and that all that dust can settle, that all the cloud of dust can be brought up and know that it has a place to settle and land and not affect anymore. Because that's it needs to all be brought up to the light. And when the truth is there, it is always this is an old, old saying, the truth is what will set us free. And it's on that that we will fly forward. We will go across the gates, across the bridges. And so I'm just excited that the bridge has started being laid and that all of us are starting to feel these things in our bodies because it's the actual uh, tangible proof of the shift that we're in. We can see a lot of things happening in the world, but we're now in this very tangible elements in our body of seeing and knowing and feeling the difference. And um, I want to bring in uh, a couple of things. I know you can only see half of the body. I'm going to shift the camera up so you can see this because the diamond frequencies are really important right now. And this beauty, um, some of you know I have an oracle deck in creation and I'm having all the artwork created 
And this is the diamond dragon that's going to be part of the deck. I just love him. It's a, a purplish background, which is hard to delineate against the metallic purple walls of this room. But that guy, as a canvas print, is holding a really beautiful frequency. And so knowing that the diamond dragons are now available to uh, come in and be present, you might sense them. You might just feel like you're in diamond frequency fields periodically, especially in your dream state, being pulled forward to that so that you can um, do some work in that, get some of that resonance into your field, and then you're brought back here to slowly step forward towards that and bring that into this plane. Um, also, very excited, I've been trying to showcase some of the different things that will be available in the lair when uh, it opens fairly soon. I've got all the product in the back end and now I'm just waiting for some of the templates and things with the website um, creator has helped me um, to, for that to be done. But look at this beauty. This is a dragon vein agate. Um, and this will, I have a line of these pieces that will be in there with these uh, dragon pendants on stone, very high frequency stones. And what I'm going to be doing with each of the pieces that goes out, whether it's like one of these guys, ah, these guys are part of the line too. I brought in my um, diamond, silver, crystal, and dragons. Um, and that my intention and goal with that is that each one of these pieces that draws your heart and says, oh my gosh, I want that to be part of my frequency field around me, is that when I send those out, I can actually put a transmission and them specifically for you, if it's going to you, so that it's meant to bring that frequency but expand it specifically with your field. So um, I'm really super excited about that coming. But wanted to just bring in our little diamond dragon friend because those diamond frequencies are becoming so prevalent and allowing yourself to open to them and um, they do feel quite different. If you've worked with a crystal dragon and you've been in that frequency, you have an inkling of it but knowing it's octaves above that. So just allowing yourself, set your intention, especially when you go to sleep, allow yourself to call in and know those higher frequencies um, and dragons and say, all right, take me there, take me on a flight. Um, yes, Jackie, uh, I'm excited. I've been wanting to create a dragon oracle deck that is um, actually from the dragons, uh, brought through by the dragons because it's um, gonna be powerhouse reflection with each of the cards is drawn and transmission within the cards. Um, so that not only when you draw it do you get that information, but you actually get to sit with and feel that resonance come through the card, uh, <coughs> which is why I've been working very closely with the artist to really bring the images through uh, in a way that I feel reflects the energy very, very um, accurately. And um, so yeah, we're about halfway through with the artwork and then um, sorting out, starting to sort out like where to have it printed and uh, all that piece. So that's in the works. I'm very excited. It's one of those things like last year was the, getting the book out in all the different forms and now it's there. So uh, a lot of things in the work for you guys. I know you've seen the, the addition of all the guided meditations recently on the site. The black, white, and the crystal dragons were added both in English and French. Um, about to add a calling in your dragon, which is the free meditation. For those of you that haven't seen that yet, there is a free meditation download on the homepage of the dragon within, dragonwithin.com that um, can open you up to the dragon realms, can actually bring in whether it's your actual self as a dragon or one of your dragon guides that's calling in your dragon that's ready to work with you. Uh, that's gonna be available in French on the French homepage very soon. I haven't had it in French and I've recorded it already. It's with the sound protection guy. So um, I am trying to work on all kinds of things. I've also got a new program in development that is an introductory thing um, to help people enter the dragon realms, to know like where to go first, to answer a lot of the questions. So <clears throat> I'm trying, spending a lot of time working on new things to always have more tools available for you guys. That's my, my main <clears throat> focus and purpose here. And I'm so excited to be not only doing that, but living on track. And that's really when you step into working with the dragons, they help you wake up to yourself. They help you bring in, you into alignment with your truest self and that's the whole purpose of the Dragon Heart program is to actually get to that merge, to get to where you are heart to heart with your dragon, your light body that is dragon, and really living that because it wakes you up to your true purpose of your um, real reason for being here, understanding and remembering it and helping you move forward. So I am excited about that. I will see you guys next Tuesday. Hope some of this made sense and helps you understand some of the stuff your body might be going through. 
Uh, I love you guys, and I will look forward to seeing you next week. Bye.